It looks like I just dunked my face in that like chocolate sauce that goes over ice cream. So this morning I'll be trying out a new mask from the body shop. This is the Nicaraguan Coffee Intense Awakening Mask. And I don't know why I'm so excited to try this one out. Maybe it's because I just love coffee. Got my ginormous mug here that I'm drinking simultaneously. It's one of those mornings. And if you're new to my channel, I try out new face masks all the time. They're one of my favorite product to review. And if you wanna check out my playlist, the link for that will be in the description box below or you can click right up there. Also, if you're enjoying this video while watching it, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me out. If you wanna know more about this mask, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So this mask retails for $28 Canadian and you get 2.9 fluid ounces of product. But keep an eye on their website. The body shop is always having promotions. The day that I bought... Yes, you're being bossy. And on the body shop's website, it says, Give your skin an energy kick with our richly textured Nicaraguan Coffee Intense Awakening Mask. Enriched with a powerful blend of coffee bean particles from Nicaragua and community trade ingredients from around the world, this mask warms and gently exfoliates your skin to help reduce signs of fatigue. This leaves skin feeling awakened, cleared of impurities, looking more radiant, and pores look refined. So for ingredients, the first is glycerin, which is a skin replenishing ingredient. Glycerin doesn't really moisturize your skin. It just helps hold water up against it. And this leaves it feeling moisturized and hydrated. So the next ingredient is something called isopropyl palmitate, which is a texture enhancer and emollient. So according to Paula's Choice database, this is a good ingredient for people with normal to dry skin, but it can be potentially problematic for people with oily skin. So if you have like combination oily skin, this is a mask you probably want to avoid. So the next ingredient is something called Euglena gracilis extract, which is a microalgae, and this is used to help reduce skin fatigue. Next we have sucrose, which has hydrating properties for skin. Next we have coffee arabica seed powder, which is a great antioxidant and exfoliant. So there is added fragrance in this, and there's quite a bit of it, and I'm not sure why they felt the need to add it because uh, if it's a coffee mask, it's probably gonna smell pretty potent in the first place. After that, we have sesame seed oil, which is great for preventing water loss, and it also has a calming effect on the skin. There's also cocoa butter, which is a rich moisturizer and antioxidant. And there is also shea butter, which is a rich moisturizer and great for dry skin. Oddly enough, the one ingredient that kind of caught me off guard is uh, there's not very much water in this. So I'm used to seeing water as the first or second ingredient. In this one, it's uh, it's almost the last ingredient listed. So uh, I have a feeling this one is going to be super thick. After removing makeup and cleansing skin, use your fingers to smooth on an even layer of mask, avoiding the eye and lip area. Apply to neck if desired. After five to 10 minutes, rinse off with warm water in a gentle circular motion to exfoliate. Use two to three times a week. Remember when I said this didn't have much water in it? It's uh, It's pretty much solid. It's almost like a body butter. It's uh, not really going anywhere. Okay, so yeah, this is like ridiculously thick. Yeah, it feels almost exactly like uh, a body butter. The texture does thin out once it hits your skin and warms up. It's a little tricky to spread at first, but once it hits your skin, it almost instantaneously melts. It looks like I just dunked my face in that like chocolate sauce that goes over ice cream. So overall, this was pretty easy to apply. Um, I didn't have trouble smoothing out and getting a thin layer on my face because once the product warmed up, it pretty much melted right away, um, but not to the point where it's like dripping off my face or anything. I would have preferred to apply the product with my little mask spatula, which I normally use because uh, there's less mess that way. But since this is an exfoliating mask, it did make much more sense to apply this with my fingers. So the time is 2.35. So I'm just gonna go wash my hands and relax for a little bit, and I will see you in about 10 minutes.
So the time is 2.46. This has been on my face for just a little over 10 minutes. Quite honestly, just sitting here with this on, I didn't really want to take it off. It's one of these masks that's super comfortable to wear, obviously, because it doesn't dry down completely. Normally, I do not like fragrance in my skincare at all, but this one I could possibly make an exception for. Maybe it's just because I love coffee. I just do. So the scent of it isn't bothering me. Anyway, so I'm just going to go rinse this off quickly, and then I'll be back with my thoughts on this mask. So we're back all rinsed off, and I think I might have found my new favorite mask. I am loving how my skin feels. It was very odd. The coffee granules in this one were just enough of an exfoliant where I didn't find it was too abrasive. And then uh, the butters and the oils in this were just rich enough where my skin feels moisturized, but I don't feel any like residue on my face, which was something that I was a little concerned about because when I first applied this, it was super thick. It was almost entirely the consistency of a body butter, but it just melted onto the skin and it felt a little bit warm, but not to the point where it was uncomfortable. So having dry skin myself, I can verify that this one is definitely one for people with dry skin. With the butters and the oils that are in this one, it's probably too rich for somebody who has oily skin. Also, this doesn't bother me, but it may bother some people. Um, my skin still reeks of coffee. It's almost like I bathed in it or something. So if scents bother you, this may be one to avoid. Normally strong fragrances are a no-go for me, but this one is, it's just, it's not strong. It's just sort of there in the background. And the smell of coffee is one that doesn't get on my nerves anyway, but I can see how it could bother some people. So this one left absolutely no residue behind, which I was surprised by with the amount of oils and butters that are in this mask. Even though my skin is on the drier side, I don't think I need a moisturizer with this one. I think that might be a little bit too much for me. So this is one that I would definitely buy again, although it probably won't be for a while because uh, I have a few more masks that I'll be trying out from the body shop next month. I have the Drops of Youth sheet mask and the Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats Mask. So these ones will be going out probably at the beginning of July, so stay tuned for those. So if you have any other questions about this mask, leave them in the comment section below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.